Oh, call the Pope, look at this. Wood is rusting, look at that. It's a miracle, folks, a junkyard miracle right there here at Burnison Auto Wrecking, rusting wood, it's amazing stuff. Hey, Steve Mignogna here doing the junkyard crawl at Berniston Auto Wrecking in Bernardstown, Massachusetts. Anybody remember the movie National Lampoon's Family Vacation with uh, Chevy Chase playing Clark Griswold? And they had their uh, family truckster. Well, this is a 1989 Mercury Grand Marquis Colony Park Station wagon, which is the Mercury cousin to the Ford Country Squire wagon used in that movie with serious modifications, the one in the movie. But with that said, this is a full-sized American station wagon, or is it? Well, these were built in this size from 1979 through 1991, 13 model years, and hundreds of thousands of these things were built. But let's remember, this is an 89, and in the 80s, this car was considered to be heavy, large, and a gas hog. But the beauty of this thing is that it is a body-on-frame car, and this could truly pull a boat trailer or a motorhome trailer, whereas the Mercury Sable front-wheel drive Taurus base car was front-wheel drive, much lighter, and really couldn't pull much in the way of a trailer. So if you want to go trailering, this is the car you bought. Now, this is kind of cool. This one has a two-way tailgate. Uh, it opens in this direction here. The window goes up or down electrically. But you can also take this, close it, and with the window down, it opens down. And that's something that Ford had in their wagons since the 1960s. In fact, here is a 1980 Ford LTD catalog. Same basic car. And again, there we see, here's the uh, Ford LTD wagon. And it says here, take your choice of three wagons, Country Squire, LTD, and LTDS. Each wagon offers 89.7 cubic feet of cargo space with the rear seats down. And we can see on the right, there's the uh, dual way tailgate, sideways or down, and even there's an optional uh, facing seat in the back, those two kids sitting there like that. So when I said this is a full-size car, well, it is, and it was, but it really wasn't. Here's why. 1979 was the year that most of Detroit downsized. In fact, 77, 1977, Chevrolet downsized their full-size cars, the Impalas, all that stuff, down, down, down. Well, Ford did the same thing in 1979. Uh, they pulled 800 pounds out of the car. Wheelbases were shortened by seven inches. And this is 1978. This is the final year for the really full-sized Grand Marquis. This is 1978. Lincoln Mercury released this. This is the last year for the Mercury marquee tradition and full-sized. Act now on this final opportunity. Now, right now, it's 2023, November, and the Dodge Challenger, final edition, the last call. Well, this is kind of that same idea, 1978, with Lincoln trying to, or Mercury, trying to get rid of their full-size cars. And here it is right here. Fact, size is the difference. Marquee offers you full-size, six-passenger comfort and that great Mercury ride. All this for hundreds of dollars less than Buick, Electra, or Olds 98. And there's those three guys sitting side by side. And there's the full-size. Now, the wagon version of this, here it is, man. That thing right there. There will never be another year like 78. In other words, Detroit was fully aware that they had to downsize to meet the cafe standards, fuel economy. Because, you know, the OPEC thing of 73, the fuel shortage really terrified the entire auto industry and uh, Detroit knew that big cars like this were a thing of the past or were they here's the thing SUVs came back and we started all over again but here's the irony this big car here had 94.6 cubic feet of cargo capacity versus 89.7 only 4.9 cubic feet less in the downsized 79. So the fact is, these were larger on the outside and kind of bloated, let's face it, kind of road-hugging weight that wasn't necessary. So the downsized cars were about as capable. Now, the only downside to the downsize was the 400, the 429, the 460, the big blocks were gone. These were strictly 351 or 302. We'll get to that in a second. Now, this one here, you got to love this, the fake wood paneling, of course, Dynock adhesive stuff, Colony Park, which of course is uh, the Mercury speak for station wagon, similar to a Country Squire in Fordland. This does have the optional turbine spoke aluminum wheels, which are a $440 upcharge over the standard wheels with wire hubcaps. And these basically are the same wheel covers you see on a Ford LTD, with the difference being that Mercury had a different insert, no Ford blue oval, but rather this M thing here that pops right in. And one part does two jobs and She's ready for the road, <laughs> right there. Let's open the back door. Okay, ain't gonna happen. Front door, oh, like the Landau lights right here. You know, nothing but luxury in this Mercury. Oh, call the Pope, look at this. Wood 
is rusting. Look at that. It's a miracle, folks. A junkyard miracle right there here at Burnson Auto Wrecking. Rusting wood. It's amazing stuff. Let's go around to the front. And again, 351 or 302 small block only was the rule for this generation of cars. And yeah, here it is. This is the 302. And if you look at it right here, 5 liter EFI. Now to the casual observer, look at that. It's a Mustang 5.0 engine. Not so fast. In full-size cars like this, the LTD, the Country Squire, the plenum is reversed. The uh, throttle body is on the driver's side. The plenum is here on the passenger side. On a 5.0, HO, and a Mustang, it's the other way around. Not the same piece. These have a smaller plenum diameter, and these actually make 150 horsepower, which is 75 horsepower less than the 225 horsepower 5-liter HO and a 5-liter Mustang. Uh, torque was similar, 270 foot-pounds here, 300 in the Mustang. So 75 horsepower less right here than a 5.0. And again, if you see one of these things and the throttle Bodies on the driver's side, run away. This is not a 5.0 from a Mustang. But again, it does take advantage of something called ram tuning. You can see right here that the uh, the intakes go into the center of the, the manifold right there. It's an inline eight hole thing down here. But these runners are probably oh, 10 inches or so. And inside of this at certain RPMs is a resonant tuning frequency that's kind of like free supercharging, gives a little cherry on top of the torque. And of course, helps it to make those 270 foot pounds of torque. But don't confuse this with a 5-liter Mustang uh, HO engine. In fact, those even have 5.0 HO on the plenum top. But again, this is a classic American big car styling right here. Price on this thing new was $17,922, which was about $2,050 more than a Mercury Sable wagon. But production, got to say, Mercury Sable, 25,998 versus a mere 8,173 of these. These are far less popular, but here's the thing. If you wanted to pull your, your boat trailer or your small camper, uh, you couldn't do it with a Mercury Sable. It was front wheel drive, unit construction, just didn't have the bones for it. These things were body on frame, and these were tough enough to pull a, a camper home uh, or even like a, a fairly medium-sized boat. So if you wanted full-sized family vacation machine, this is what you wanted. And again, only uh, 8,173 people purchased the Mercury version of the Ford Country Squire in this year. Now, here's the thing. Getting back to Clark Griswold and the uh, family truckster, a replica of that sold for $91,000 at Barrett-Jackson recently. Now, that was redone. It was a movie replica car, but again, 91000 bucks. New, 17922 Right now here at Burston, maybe oh, 35 bucks uh, a ton in scrap metal because this thing's pretty well rotten. And sadly, that 302 right there is not really what you want for high performance use. It could be rebuilt, I suppose, but we'll leave this one right here at Burnison Auto Wrecking. Now, if you like this video, be sure to subscribe to the Steve Mag's YouTube channel, and be sure you like this video so we get good algorithm response, and uh, also be sure to ring the bell so that you're aware when new videos come out, which is every single day. And if you like these videos, remember, there's like 300 or 400 of these videos in our channel playlist. You can watch them for free right now. Otherwise, we'll see you tomorrow morning at 4 o'clock.